What up, what up? It's your boy JK on the track again. About to use the Axis Analog again. I'm gonna use the SSL Fusion. I'm gonna use the SSL G Compressor. Probably my two favorite ones to use. So this is a new beat I'm gonna use it on. See, it's already mixed down. Got plenty of headroom to mess around with. Go fast on here to give a little spice on there. Clean it up a little bit. All right, let's take the analog matrix, throw it on. Got your email password. Connect. Got the fusion reserve, G comp reserve. Start. I'm throwing the comp first it up stick it together down to zero two ratio slow attack fast release i'll just leave on auto all right let's get this glue only want about two three dbs that's all i usually hit around i'm gonna turn this on let's go Get your needle moving around. Threshold's kind of set where I want it to be at right now. I hear it dramatic. Bring it back down. Makeup gain on it. Get my two 3 dBs back. Right. There's a mix knob up here. Put it down to zero. No process. Fusion. Wish it was mine. No. All right. I'll start off the high pass. Throw it on thirty. Kill out some of the subs that you don't need. Over here on the meter, it says you want to get around nine to fifteen. So that's what I'm gonna aim for. Possibly 18, get a little higher up. Put the input trim on to four. I'll put negative four. Get a little input drive going in. Now let's mess with the vintage drive. So we can get out of here.
to some lows also. Sounds like I don't know if I'm gonna use the load, but I already got enough loads going on. Today. You can record into an audio track instead of doing the offline processor, but I haven't had the time yet to look into how to do it on here. So I'm just going to stick with the offline processor for now, but pretty sure it's easier just recording into another track. I just got to figure out how to bust it up. All right, that'll be another time. So I'm going to arm it. Got the whole track selected. Play from beginning to end. Waiting for playback. I'll be back. All right. So start processing. Save. Save it to the beat. Save it here, it's processed. All right, so that's it with that. Now, we're just gonna start up. And All right, 
So, process file. So what I'm gonna do? Throw my uh, flip around. That's what I usually do <clears throat> to get the tire up. I already used the access analog. Go on next. F to L two. I'll get a little uh limited a little bit. I'm not going crazy. This is what I do. This trick. Oversample up to four. I want no peaks. Is that what I'm going for? Standard clip. Clip a little bit of it. Turn this on a soft control. Put it to oversample. Let's clip a little bit. Soft tool. Now I'm just gonna get up to my level that I usually do. I'm gonna compare it with the other one that I did, which is in the box. See which ones sound better. Mix this one down. All right, I'm load up. I mastered MP3. It's the one I did in the box. It's analog. Pretty C, a lot thicker. Pause. All right. So 
This one is my in the box master. This one is the Access Analog Master using Fusion and the G Comp. So this is my box sound like. Keep on using access analog because I'm trying to buy one right now. Can't beat that right now. Definitely worth it. Difference. Let's hear it again. Shout out to Access Analog. Hook up. Great people to work with. As like I said before, I'm definitely going to be working with them a lot whenever I have tracks to do. Peace out.